Welcome to The Shooting Show. I'm Chris Dalton. Forgive the scary eye. That's a fight with a seven ton log splitter and I lost. Anyway, this week we're up at Kinnaird Estate, um, continuing with the hind call and particularly concentrating on an area where there's a new forest creation scheme. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, we're, uh, it's a bit of a dreek afternoon actually, it's, it's a bit of mist in the air and we've got a wind, just a little bit of wind coming off the hill, so there's quite a lot of hinds out here this morning, so I'm going to go work up the valley and uh, we're going to go up underneath the hill there, the wind should be perfect, it's an area that the deer quite favour, they like to lie in there during on there during the day and we've got quite a bit of work going on down here at the minute with a new road being put in. This is actually all going to be a, a new forest, this is a, a forest recreation scheme which work is actually starting now. So I'm just trying to work a bit of an assessment on numbers. Um, we may have to do some compensatory culling which basically means reduce the deer numbers to take account of the of the area that is actually going to be planted and fenced. So that's why I'm going to spend quite a lot of time in here, do quite a lot of work in here. Um, shoot a few of the hinds off for sure so I think on a day like today that's probably the best area that's where I probably expect to see some deer line up during the day so we're going to get up there the light's going to go on us quite quickly so I'm going to rattle across here fairly quickly and see what we've got Okay, we're, uh, I'm sort of mindful of the time, the light goes really quite quickly um, this time of year and we've got um, sort of mist rolling in, you can see it from the tops and quite often with the tear down below as you'll find that that will roll in and you'll, you'll, it'll be thick as anything so we've, there's, a, there's a group of deer laid up not far and we're going to try and get into them. We've probably got another 15-20 minutes to work with and then uh, I need to get off the hill because we've got quite a way to get back. It's always better to be safe rather than sorry and uh, you don't want to be stuck out of here when you you can't see two sort of fingers in front of your face.
plan worked very nicely, um, used the contours of the ground to get into a reasonable position and then there was just a nice little mound which kind of overlooked where the edge of this group of deer were. Um, problem you've got to bear in mind is when we're actually filming and shooting, um, Graham's behind me with a big camera on a tripod so it's not just like me kind of crawling in and getting into position. Um, so he had to hang back, um, probably about 40 or 50 yards at the back of me, no way that he would have got to where I got because I kind of crawled to get onto the top of the mound and then set the bipod slowly and the rifle in front of me. Um, so the difficulty there is you don't, you don't know which, he doesn't know which deer I'm shooting, so it's kind of best guess scenario. And he wasn't far off actually. Um, the group of deer that he was filming um, were very close to the one that I subsequently shot. And then the whole group kind of exited stage left. Um, so the plan nearly came together, but not quite. Quite good again the dog indicating while we're working out just to show show me where the deer are. So she's invaluable on the hill. I know a lot of people don't work with dogs on the hill but there's two reasons I like the dog. Firstly for that very reason she'll give me early warning and secondly it's incredibly difficult to locate deer. We've got a lot of high heather on there um, and it's incredibly difficult to locate deer often when they've dropped in a clump of heather you know 180, 200, 200 yards from the shot and trying to find them is incredibly difficult. Yeah, classic, uh, classic half lung. This my dog's duly eating. Bit of fresh blood, can't beat it. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching, please remember to like us on the social media platforms, thanks to our sponsors and particularly Canada State.